how many looks long. So I ask how you do the gross motor skill reload with the Kalashnikov. You see the with the Scar 16 platform. If I go to Travis Haley, go to the AK class, the 5D, and he show. D5. E. Okay. <laughs> so you, you want me to, oh, gross oh. motor skill reload. So that's what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. So gross motor skill reload. So that's a good question because, uh, you know, we tend to load uh, guns based on all these myths and theories and systems and methods of people out there. But uh, I want you to just think about how the human body works. So under critical stress, when a lot of things are happening in your body, we call it the body alarm response. Okay, so that is a lot of blood flow issues with uh, lots of different chemicals going in our bloodstream, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So basically, when the body alarm response happens, it's a natural human defense mechanism, which means that you're not going to be able to do anything except grossly react. So that's why we do gross motor skill reloads. Okay. So the gross motor skill reload with an AK is a lot different than an AR. So, but the first thing we need to take into consideration is not just the manipulation of the gun. What kind of equipment are you wearing as well? So that's why I'm um, like, I'm wearing a G-Code Scorpion system right now, which was specifically designed for the gross motor skill reload because I can orient the magazine, the pouch on my body the way I want. So when I lose all the blood flow in my fingertips and my eyes are bugging out of my head, it simply just works with me, not against me. Okay, so now I'll just show you how it goes. So I have a round in the chamber and an empty mag in the mag well of the AK. So when you do these drills, start with a round in the chamber, empty mag in. I come up on target, I fire a round, I get a click, nothing happens. So what you need to do is have that tool, right? So I grab a mag, I always keep a loaded magazine in my back pocket, on my left side and my right side. So if you're right handed, you go to your right mag. You use that as a tool, you get rid of that and you don't need that tool anymore, you just dump it on the ground, regardless if it's loaded or not, because I still have the loaded ones on my body here. At that point, what we're going to do, because I don't have the ability to touch those buttons and stuff, or grab magazines and rock it in, this is where the GECO Scorpion pouch really comes into play. I pull it off, and now, this is the hard part. Because we can't grab buttons and charging handles and stuff with our hands because we've lost that gross motor skill, we all know what a barrel feels like because it's round. If you're a guy, you wake up every day, you get it. Uh, so I can't feel that with my fingertips, but I can not grab that. So at that point, I'm gonna just simply push the gun down. I'm gonna use that foot, charge it, just like in an order arm. So if you're a military guy, you're probably used to this because you got proprioception, kinesthetic awareness built into the system already. At that point, I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna fire the gun. So that's pretty much it. Very simple. Don't get caught up on what people tell you about, oh, you're not going to be able to do that. You can fight through it. You can feel your fingertips and, and all that sports performance, kinesiology shit. It's going to be tough. So that's why I suggest doing the gross motor skill reload in that fashion with the Kalashnikov. So that's what you do with a thing that don't do the working. The working. Mm. What the hell are you guys doing? So deep 5 deep. Thanks. The D5 gross motor skill reload, John. What the hell does this guy know? Wow. Okay. Don't worry about it. He doesn't know anything. Don't worry about it. Alright. There it is.